Good morning everyone, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create and today I'm going to share with you the long-awaited Aesop's Fables uh, mini album. So this is something different, I haven't done this before. Um, there are lots of 3D effects inside the book, um, so I'm excited to share that with you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start oh, with the size of the album. It's 8.5 by 8.5 with a 2.5 inch spine. These two elements came from the 12 by 12 collection. Each one of the pages inside the album features one of the Aesop's fables. And um, this happened to be two pieces that I didn't utilize on their pages. This is from the signature page. So both of these have just been fussy cut and then lined with um, black cardstock. And here's our spine. And then I wrapped all the way around to the back. And then this is another item that I fussy cut from the uh, collection pack. I think it's just gorgeous. Okay, let's get started with the inside. Okay, so on the inside um, cover, I just did a simple pocket. I had lots of cut aparts and um, some of these things that you could fussy cut and lay into the book as you added your picture. So I just wanted a place to stow, stow those uh, until I you know, decided what I was gonna put in the album. Okay, so the first page is featuring the fox and crow. So um, I used the 12 by 12 collection for this album mainly because of the size of the text for the stories. When I looked at the 8 by 8 the text was just so small it was going to be too hard to read. So I actually used both, but the feature items are going to be mostly the 12 by 12 Okay, so this comes down and it opens up. We've got some room for story, uh, photos or uh, journaling. And then we have our first 3D page. So you can see that the fox is popped against this. These are both 12 by 12s. Isn't that cool? Now, there was some additional background here that I had trimmed out and then decided that I could go ahead and add it back in. So I put a piece of chipboard there and added this back in to give it even just a little bit of dimension between the fox and the page. Okay, this is all held closed by a magnet. I did have enough paper to cover, completely cover one side of all the inserts. Okay, here's the lion and the mouse. So again, there's our story and I pop that on a piece of chipboard. And then when you open it, you get the mice, the little mouse running away from the lion, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, all of these images are from the 12 by 12 and this is from the eight by eight collection pack. It's the flip side of the same pattern. There is the lion and mouse. And then here is the tortoise and the hare. So here's our nice little story. Now the 3D effect on this is, it's pretty simple. It's like an easel card. So it pops up so you can read the story and you can still see the hare and the tortoise coming across the finish line. And then there's another insert. Now this is um, the city mouse and the country mouse was the only one that actually had uh, two feature pages in it. So that's why I put it in the center of the book. So we've got a simple flap here, simple flap and a pocket. And here is part A of the story. And then I've also went ahead and created a card that's gonna go in here. And you can add a photo to that or some journaling. So this is a very simple page. And then over here is part B of the story. You could also use utilize this space for photos. So I left these open-ended so that you could uh, choose what to do. Now this whole flap opens up and then here you've got the city, the city mouse, city mouse and the country mouse right here. And a nice balloon. It's popped. Uh, I think I used foam tape there. And then there's a city in the background. And I've added, uh, I cut, fussy cut all of this off so I could put, feature the balloon there and then just relayed it in, in a different location. And I go over all of this in great detail um, as part of the tutorial. Another full-size photo mat. I forgot to show you the back sides are black. Okay, here's the grasshopper and the ant, and this is just a simple page. I wanted to keep as much of the image intact as possible. 
Here's our story inside the card. And then here is our uh, chicken, the golden eggs. And this is a single flap. Here's our story. And then it opens up to this 3D image inside. Okay. I can't remember. I think I did glue this all the way down. Okay. Lovely, lovely. I think this might be one of my favorite pages. Although, this is a pretty good one too. So in the back, um, I had some cut aparts that were left over. So I stashed them in here. And then I had some more of those cards that I put in here. And then here's our last one. So here's the fox and grapes. And here's our story. And then we've got these 3D grapes that come down from the top. And then we've got this image of the fox on the bottom. Now, this was also cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection, and I really like it, so I just wanted to save it inside the book. I'm not sure if, I'm, if I'll use it or where, but I didn't want to toss it. So that is my new 3D album. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it took me a while to get it out, but I learned a lot in the process, and um, I'm going to link... Um, uh, a channel where I learned most of these techniques. There's there's a guy that is called the Pop Up Channel, and um, that's where I learned most of these techniques. And he um, he's an amazing teacher, and he teaches all about different kinds of pop ups. And he actually makes pop up books. So, anyways, I'll link that in the description as well as the material list and the cut list for this. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll see you soon.